Hello, and welcome to another installment of the Data Center Design Minute. I'm Mike Murphy, the CEO of DVL. We are the data center strategy, equipment, and support experts in the greater Delaware Valley. In this installment, we're going to discuss the most cost-effective pod designs for your data center. Remember, in an earlier video, we defined a pod as two rows of racks arranged in a hot aisle, cold aisle configuration, similar to the arrangement behind me here in our DVL efficiency lab. There are a number of general guidelines to keep in mind in this pursuit. First, never use more than one device to accomplish a task, unless needed for redundancy. One device is always less expensive than two. Whenever possible, use the full capacity of the electrical system components. Providing unused capacity wastes copper and other construction materials, and most importantly, wastes money. Next, use as few components as possible. Having fewer components means that you will have fewer failures statistically. Capital and service costs are reduced with fewer components, which lowers the total cost of ownership over the life of the data center. On a more targeted level, when designing your rack, row, and pod arrangements, the following rules will help you effectively manage your costs. Calculate the number of racks in a pod using the KW per rack and KW capacity of the busway as we demonstrate in Chapter 3 of our design manual. Whenever the calculated number of racks is more than one half greater than an even number of racks, the racks used in the pod should be increased to the next even integer. It's rare to see individual racks utilized to their design limits, and increasing the rack count is beneficial to the end user as opposed to limiting it below capacity. Using this methodology, we have found that the maximum number of cost-effective pod designs cover only 10 separate KW per rack ratings. When busway arrangements are also considered, there are only 25 pod arrangements that you should consider in your data center designs. The configuration details for each of these part numbers can be found in Chapter 4 of the DVL Data Center Design Manual. In conclusion, for the most cost-effective designs, utilize one of our 25 pod arrangements to achieve both the required KW per rack while providing appropriate power distribution redundancy. In our next installment, we will begin to discuss a widely misunderstood subject, which is airflow and cooling systems for hot aisle, cold aisle arrangements. For a more thorough discussion of specifying cost-effective pods, please visit our website at dvlnet.com forward slash chapter four and register for a free copy of the fourth chapter of our upcoming manual on data center design. For helpful additional advice and information regarding data center design, visit dvlnet.com, email us at info at dvlnet.com, or call 215-785-5950 to schedule a consultation with one of our data center experts.